All right, guys, what is going on? It is Hank here from Nintendo. And although Christmas has come and gone, it seems like Nintendo is still in the spirit of giving. So today we are getting the new Piranha Pit map for Splatoon. And guys, I cannot be more excited. I definitely think this is a super appropriate and super awesome way to end off 2015. First off, in terms of aesthetics, I absolutely love the rustic vibe that Piranha Pit gives off. It's just so cool how each each map can have its own unique feel to it. I really appreciate the attention to detail that Nintendo has been putting into these maps. For example, you can find some furniture at both sides of the maps, and I thought the inclusion of the furniture was pretty cute, but that's just my opinion. So in terms of actual structure, you'll notice that the map is pretty open and there's a lot of neutral area. But of course, the coolest aspect on this map lies within the conveyor belts. Again guys, I'm super happy and super excited that Nintendo isn't being that conservative with their map updates. They're trying new stuff, they're introducing these new mechanics, that's all good. I really appreciate it when Nintendo takes risks, because really, most good things come from risks. So yeah, the conveyor belts are pretty cool and they're littered across the map. Of course you can cover ink on them, but it's always moving, so if you want to actually capture that entire area, you need to cover the entire belt. And of course, it will impact your speed, so if you're running against the direction of the conveyor belt, you'll move more slowly. If you're running with the direction of the conveyor belt, you'll move more quickly. But that's pretty intuitive enough. Overall, I think swim speed up will be preferred over run speed up as the movement ability on this map. Again, due to the open nature of the map and all of the extra spacious neutral area, you're really going to be swimming around more than anything. Although there are some catwalks, none of them are in crucial areas and they're pretty rare on this map, so you're rarely going to be in situations where you're forced to run. In terms of special weapons, I definitely think the bomb rush specials are going to be especially strong here. They're really great for capturing turf, and they excel when you're dealing with a spacious area like this. And in a similar vein, I also think that the dynamo roller is going to be especially strong here. I'm sure some of you guys are not happy to hear that. At the same time, I'm sure some of you guys are, but the dynamo roller is just really solid for capturing and controlling turf on this map. So that's definitely a consideration you should make while you're building your team composition. The Rainmaker and the Tower Control locations are pretty standard, they're just right smack dab in the middle. I do want to point out however that there are two splat zones on this map and they're actually pretty far apart. So that could be pretty interesting I suppose, but again I definitely think that if you're rocking a Bomb Rush Special or Dynamo Roller, you should have pretty good control over that area in general. Anyway guys, I think that's pretty much everything that to say for this map. I'm sorry if this video is a bit shorter than usual. It is winter break, so I hope you guys can understand that I'm sort of in a rush. But I hope you guys had an excellent 2015, and for those of you that celebrate it, I hope that your Christmas slash Squidmas went well. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I really appreciate all of your support in 2015. I'm super excited for what 2016 has in store for us. If you're feeling extra fresh, go ahead and hit that like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you have not done so already. And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching.